what's going on guys it's Zuri here and Smack welcome back to another clash rally and today i have a very special episode for you guys if you flip over to the tournament tab right here as you can see we've gotten ourselves the 20 win challenge completed there we go guys we've gotten 20 wins 250,000 gold this challenge has been so so difficult uh, I've in total I've tried it five times uh, I got 16 uh, 16 wins 16 wins 15 wins 18 wins and then finally I got the 20 wins let's go I have 594,000 gold right now but without further ado guys let's go ahead hop into the chest opening 20 win chest opening 3,000 gold uh, 22 skeleton barrels, 5 ice golem, 10 hog rider, uh, 15 goblin huts, 3 free spells, 204 barges, and guys, we've gotten ourselves a legendary card as well. Totally did not expect that to happen, but I will definitely take a legendary card. Let's see what legendary card it's gonna be, and looks like it is the princess on its way to level 3. Really excited about that. The princess is such a useful card. So anyways, uh, just here is basically all the cards I've got. I'm gonna get a quick screenshot of that 20 win chest right there. But anyways guys, there we go. That's the rewards collected and uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the deck that I use. Uh, the deck that I use is, <laughs> it is an expo deck guys. This is an expo deck. 3.6 elixir it features the elixir collector and it has the tesla as well this deck has been working super duper well in the current meta i actually copied it off of a uh off of tmd aaron's live stream i saw him using it in the 20 win challenge so i thought you know why don't i just go ahead give this deck a shot as well obviously i'm i'm pretty good at siege uh if i do say so myself but anyways guys let's go ahead hop into a re Replay. So this battle is going to be against FPM2 and this guy is using a graveyard deck uh, Obviously graveyard is a pretty tough matchup uh, with against this deck because uh, as you can see there isn't really that good of a Graveyard counter so anyways here. I don't have that good of a starting hand obviously no elixir collector So obviously I can't put that down So here he puts down an ice wizard and I put down a knight to counter that ice wizard and uh uh, he's gonna put down a Megamine as well. I try and fireball the tower, uh, the uh, Ice Wizard, and the Megaminion, but I actually miss. And there, I that's a pretty bad Tesla right there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Bit of an overcommitment. But he's gonna place down a Cannon Cart to take out the Knight. And uh, I'm not sure he follows up with a Graveyard here. Don't quite remember. Um, but yeah, okay, Cannon Cart. Uh, Alright, Cannon Cart does survive, so he does put that Graveyard down. And uh, I have to put down a knight to stop the cannon cart from locking onto the tower. Uh, so the tower is going below 2,000 hit points. Not that bad of a defense. I did take about 500 damage there, but uh, I, that could obviously have been a lot worse. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get an elixir collector down. And uh, this guy has an ice wizard, obviously, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put the elixir collector down to cycle to an ice spirit and put down the ice spirit to sponge for that ice wizard. Obviously, you don't want to take any damage at all against a graveyard deck because graveyards basically a guaranteed damage onto the tower. Uh, there's just no way to completely stop a graveyard. Um, at unless you like place a skeleton army, but obviously uh, your opponent's gonna support it with something. But anyways, um, my opponent here is gonna poison my elixir collector, so I take advantage of that and place down another elixir collector because obviously this deck cycles super duper quickly. And um, yeah, there we go. Now we have one full super healthy elixir collector. Now we're going into double elixir time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a knight down to counter his uh, ice wizard again he's gonna put down an ice golem i'm gonna put down an early tesla and uh, i'm getting ready for that huge graveyard push so i'm gonna fireball out all of those troops he's gonna put down a cannon cart tesla is going to take care of the ice wizard uh we got that cannon cart there graveyard goes down i put down my knight to try and sponge for as much as possible log goes down and that tower is going to be going down to 1000 hit points so i have to get something been going or else i'm gonna be losing this game guys so expo goes down tesla goes down uh mega meaning goes down i go all in in this push and he manages to counter it 
definitely not looking good as we go into overtime. My tower is down to 800 hit points, and I barely even scratched his tower. So here, I get a fireball. Again, really greedy. Should have gotten the mega minion as well. Uh, but another graveyard. Tesla to defend, and as well as a log to take it out. And there we go, guys. My tower is down to 400 hit points. So here, I decide to switch lanes, catch him off guard. There we go. Expo down, knight down. Uh, Tesla goes down as well. And uh, there we go. Tesla will take out the mega minion. And there we go, guys. Uh, we've got a huge push on this side. Tesla, Expo, mega minion. He puts down an ice golem. And uh, let's see. Tower is uh, Expo, I mean, is locked onto the tower. We're going to go ahead and put another Expo down. Knight down. He has to poison the Expos. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I think I plopped on a Tesla there. There we go. And uh, he is still managing to counter this. We need to get something going really soon if we want to win this battle. The uh, Expo does lock on for a short while. Uh, but now there's a huge graveyard push. Mega Minion, Log, and Knight to sponge up as much damage as possible. Tower is down to 376 poisons. That's just uh, two poisons right there. So Expo goes down. This is going to be the last push if I'm going to get anything together. This is my last chance to get something together. There we go, guys. Fireball takes everything out. Expo is locked onto the tower. And here he makes his fatal mistake and poisons the tower. The Expo still has a ton of health. The log in the uh, rolling in is going to finish off that tower. There we go, guys. Grabbing ourselves uh, the 18th win in this challenge. All right, so this battle right here is the 20th battle, and it is going to be against Lucas, who is using the very popular Mega Knight Hog Rider deck. Now, this deck is actually a very difficult matchup. Obviously, it's not impossible, but it is quite difficult. So here he starts off with Goblins. I defend with a Knight, and uh, as soon as I see that Inferno Dragon, I immediately know that he's playing Mega Knight Hog. Now, against Mega Knight Hog, uh, what you want to do with this deck is you want to defend uh, as much as possible. You don't want to place down the Expo unless you are 100% sure that you have a massive Elixir advantage or at least one or two Elixir Collectors down. So here we go. Put down the Elixir Collector and Ice Spirit goes down to sponge up that Inferno Dragon. And as you can see, his poison is out of cycle, so he has no way to directly damage the Elixir Collector. He says, well played. And uh, there we go, guys. We're about even in Elixir, but I do have an Elixir Collector down, meaning that I am in ahead in Elixir. So here, once again, he splits Goblins in the back. And uh, he also splits his bats. Actually, he doesn't split the bats. And he's getting ready, obviously, for a hog rider push. And here, I do kind of a bad Tesla placement. Bit to up. The bats get a few shots onto the tower. I place down another Alexa Collector. This time, he does have poison and cycle. Unfortunately, he gets that poison down and takes that pump down quite far. So anyways, Inferno Dragon is going to get taken out by the hidden Tesla. And we're going to put down our first... Uh, as you can see, obviously, we have two Elixir Collectors down, just like I said, and um, he barely puts down that Mega Knight in time, but we have all of these troops. We got two Teslas, guys. Uh, okay, well, one just died. But anyways, guys, we got that one Tesla. Mega Minion is taking out that Expo, and the Expo is locked onto the tower, guys, and he has no Elixir to deal with it. Obviously, I'll take advantage of that and get another Elixir Collector down. Obviously, we want to get as big as an Elixir advantage as possible. So here he's going to go for a Hog Rider Goblins push. I'm going to put a Knight down, a Log, as well as a Tesla. Unfortunately, the Tesla doesn't go for that Knight, and the Hog will get a few swings onto the tower. But we're going to get another pump down. No matter, we are now two pumps ahead of Lucas here. And uh, now we're going to invest that Elixir in an absolutely massive push. So here's gonna go Inferno Dragon to take out the Tesla, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cycle back to the hidden Tesla to take out that Hog, and uh, let's see, uh, Hog goes down, does get one shot on the tower, so he has the damage lead right now, but we do have the Elixir lead. So anyway, we're gonna get an Expo down, a Knight down, a Mega Minion down, a hidden Tesla down, uh, Ice Spirit takes everything out, and there we go, guys. Massive push, fireball uh, everything out, and there we go, guys. A very healthy expo locked onto the tower. 
tower is down to 800, 700 hit points, 600 hit points actually. Another expo will be going down. I log out the goblin. He places an ice golem just in time. He gets a hog rider down. Uh, I put down mega minion knight as well as a hidden tesla. And there we go guys. He has no elixir. We've got an expo on the tower and that is going to be game. And we've gotten ourselves that 20th win in the 20 win challenge so gg right there and there we go getting ourselves a 20 win challenge in the game there we go guys super duper excited about that but anyways guys here's the deck once more but anyways guys that is all the time for in today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is the legend array and i'm signing off see you guys next time Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel.